Hello, buddy. It's Zechariah. As you know, I'm the camera running from the police officers, firefighters, and U.S. Customs, I mean, and U.S. Border, Border Patrol members who are like in line duty in 2020, and a 47-year-old Canadian firefighter who's passed away. And sat ready for firefighter Michael Butendorp. He worked with the Grant Township uh, Fire Department in Michigan, and his death watch was November 18th, 2020, and lost his life after suffering a medical episode while in a water tanker um, while going to a uh, call of a camper fire. He was only 40 years old at the time of his passing, and he's behind a wife and four children. Tonight, I'll be running the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track at my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be doing it tonight by the Stanford Police Department who are patrolling and the U.S. Customs Border Protection who are running with me. Um, even though it seems like to me and one of them running, at the same time, there's many more running, and it's all the fallen I have ran for. I know they're honoring the spirit tonight, including fallen firefighter Michael Butendorf. Before I'm charged, we're going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department, so the hardship we're going through, and then I'll be on my way. For those that are tuned in tonight, tonight Zechariah like running his first of three miles this evening, this first mile in honor of fallen firefighter Michael Butendorp. He worked with the Grant Township Fire Department in Michigan, end of watch, or I should say last alarm, November the 18th, 2020. Tragically, he lost his life after suffering a medical episode while in a water tender responding to a camper fire. He was 40 years old at the time of his passing, and he leaves behind a wife as well as four children. Zachariah currently completing his first of seven laps, which is the equivalent of one mile, to help honor the life of fallen firefighter Michael Butendorf. We are always very appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out and help honor our fallen heroes alongside of Zachariah. Helping to pay tribute to fallen firefighter Michael Butendorp tonight. We have a member of the Sanford Police Department, which is a neighboring agency, running with Zechariah. We have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Once again, we're all here tonight to honor the life of fallen firefighter Michael Butendorp. He worked with the Grant Township Fire Department in Michigan. Once again, his last alarm was November the 18th, 2020. Tragically lost his life after suffering a medical episode while driving his water tender truck um, while responding to a camper fire call. He was 40 years old at the time of his passing, and he leaves behind a wife, as well as four children, Zachariah, as well as a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, completing their second lap right now of seven to honor this hero tonight. For every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries with him a unique flag. Each flag sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag, a red line flag, will be sent to the family of fallen firefighter Michael Butendorp. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this flag mission, please visit running the number four heroes.org. Also, if you'd like to ensure that this fallen hero's name gets added to the NASCAR car that will be running in February with Running for Heroes, uh, please message us and let us know how you can be a part of the car that will pay tribute to this fallen hero as well. I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap. I'm going to remain silent for the remainder of the run as we pause and reflect on the life of this hero, fallen firefighter Michael Butendorp. Our prayers go out to the Grant Township Fire Department in Michigan who's lost one of their own, one of their finest. Our prayers also go out to his wife, 
as well as his four children. We hope this run tonight brings him comfort and peace as we remember the life of their hero, fallen firefighter, Michael Butendorf.
Zachary, any final words for the family? Fallen firefighter Michael Butenberg. Every fallen firefighter Michael Butenberg's whole family, uh, sorry, Butendorp's whole family, and everybody's the, there was the, um, Grant Township Fire Department, Michigan. I hope they all heal through this hard time, you know. He was a true hero, only four years old, had a wife, four children, and, and lots of other family members as well. Um, I know he had lots of friends in law enforcement as well, and I bet they're going through a hard time. So I hope you, if you're a family member or a friend of this fire department agency that he worked for, I hope you heal and find comfort with his friend tonight. He was a true, um, he was amazing, he was an amazing firefighter, one who inspired, who will inspire me for it to forever come, you know. High pass was very sad, medical episode while in a water tender truck while responding to a uh, camper fire, you know, that's just very sad, so. You know, I just, I just hope everybody heals with the, the uh, Grant Township Fire Department and his whole family heals as well. So the family, I'm going to give you a red line flag as well as a handwritten note in your honor. Once again, everybody here tonight, the U.S. Customs Door Protection, the Central Police Department, and my whole family. For all of us here tonight, we hope you will be very soon, like I said, through this hard time. Even though he did not list his age, uh, I mean, even though we did not list how long he served, um, I still think we should uh, have a moment of silence for him. So if you all would like to do me a 10-second moment of silence, this time each second dedicating one amazing thing he did during his lifetime, please do, because it will help the families if you join me in this next uh, 10 seconds of silence. Thank you very much for joining me on the silence. Like I said, the families will be smiling if you did join me during that. You know, I think another good way to point as during that 10 seconds, you know, another good way to think of it as is every every second is four years, uh, every second of um, is four years of his life knowing that he was 40 years old. Uh, for the 10 second one of silence. So every uh, every second can also stand for every single memory he had, every one amazing memory he had during his every single four years until up to his passing. Um, you know, like I said, it was very sad what happened to him and he had a family. So I hope they heal very, very soon. And I hope God uh, leads them to this run if they have not already seen it. We have two more tonight, so please stay tuned for those two runs. One's for an officer, one's for a firefighter. Once again, thank you for watching and I pray God blesses you all.